another conceptual thread between 17 uh, and, uh, and, the, and the remaining part of uh, 18, 19, and, and, uh, 18, 19, and 20, which is the heaven of Jupiter, uh, is the question of uh, a very abstract question that Dante asks. Uh, what is a place? And that was the underlying problem in, six, in 15, 16, and 17. In 15, Dante tries to determine whether his history could be reduced to the boundaries of his own native town and decides that that was no longer possible for him to conceive. Uh, the famous chronicles, he, he tries to figure out uh, uh, where exactly he can be in the history of, uh, of uh, in the midst of Florence himself, uh, it's, uh, itself, and decides that he is an exile. That was the final prophecy of Cacciavida. Exile is a word that it means, it's Latin word uh, in Italian and or in English. It comes being out of one's own soil. That's what the meaning is. So that in the Middle Ages, they never really thought of exile as a, just a spiritual condition. That is to say, I feel dislocated. I am, uh, my, my personal existential predicament is that of feeling that I'm out of it, that I don't belong, all that kind of, that was not the conventional understanding. Dante changes this meaning of exile in making it into a, a spiritual condition. It's the condition of, it's the precondition for his writing poetry to begin with, so that poetry and exile seem to be uh, going, um, uh, going to where? In 18, the real issue that he raises is, what is a place? Okay, I am an exile, I do not belong anywhere. Uh, what is it, what, what, how do we understand here? And how do we understand there? Uh, what does it mean? What are these terms? What, 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 um, at any rate, so he starts and uh, he enters now into Canto with uh, the remaining part of the Canto 18. He enters into the heaven of Jupiter, a heaven of white light which he links with geometry. You know what, uh, geometry is uh, a science, very complex science. It encompasses, what it means is the measurement of the earth. Uh, it's the whole earth that you one can measure with medieval, medieval geometry. It means it implies the presence of perspective within it, uh, with the idea that uh, geometry is what regulates uh, the idea of space and the, the uh, arrangement of space, it, uh, it implies altimetry, it implies uh, the measurement of the depth, and so on. Uh, it is, as you know, uh, traditionally linked to ethics. It has, has a, a, a profound, a intimate linkage with ethics because for the simple reason, well, uh, when Dante discusses justice, for instance, in Cantos, uh, in, in Inferno, he distinguishes between distributive justice. You remember Inferno 7, the, the goddess Fortuna who manages to distribute uh, with some idea of, Im of, of impenetrable occult equity, occult justice, the goods of the earth. You know, she's blindfolded and uh, uh, moves the wheel around so there can be some kind of uh, uniform. If you are up, you're not going to be up all the time. You may be down, etc. and if you are down, you eventually, if you are on the shifty curve of fortune, you are going to be up. It's a sort of uh, uh, arithmetical uh, notion of equity. You know, if you have, sometimes you have five, then you lose three and you get to have two. Whoever has one will get two, etc. The other form of justice was also geometric justice, which Dante describes in the so-called rule of the counterpart, counterpassion, in the contrapasso, in Inferno 28, when he has to establish the relationship between crime and punishment. It could not be an even one, you know, one and one. You cannot pluck someone's eye because someone has plucked your eye. That's not necessarily justice. You cannot cut someone's uh, arm off because you have uh, perpetrated that crime or kill, be killed because you just have been killed. There should be some kind of proportionality, uh, the arguments. So the idea is that geometry is always part. Geometry. In fact, uh, 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 the, the is, is, uh, is, is related to ethics simply because it's, uh, 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 its extension always implies a, po a point, which is the beginning of a geometric uh, uh, reflection, 
always implies the existence of other points. It establishes relations, therefore. That's, uh, that's the language. So uh, in this canto, Dante discusses primarily justice. Okay, what is justice? That's the idea that runs through this.